Matt Nagy and and Nick Foles apparently had an interesting conversation of their own. <laughs> <laughs> so again, the setup here is Brian Greasy, Monday Night Football, mentioned how when Foles met with the broadcast crew before the game, as is tradition in broadcasting an NFL game, the crew meets with the both coaches and quarterbacks, at least that's the way it's supposed to go. And uh, Brian Greasy says that Nick Foles told him that frequently, on occasion, I should, on occasion, it happens, that Foles gets a play in his head from Nagy, and he knows that the coach's call is something that can't be executed because he won't have time for it. You hear that and you go, huh. Now, Foles, after the game, said when it was brought up to him that it was a miscommunication between him and Greasy. Here's Matt Nagy today. Nick and I, we, we had we had a long talk, a, a really good talk about just clarifying what I guess was interpreted by Brian. Like I said, I don't know what what exactly how he took it, but um, for us, we are in such a good spot with our relationship. It's very very healthy. Everything we do, we do together. I mean, and that's who we are as a as a team and as a culture. But I always want to know um, what Nick's thinking, and. You know, when he has an idea or a thought, I told you, I told everybody on the front end before that uh, if you can't listen to those suggestions and thoughts, then you're crazy. And uh, I, you know, that that's kind of where I'm at with that. But we're in a really, really good place right now and um, couldn't be happier with where things are at with our relationship there. Okay, so that's the coach on that subject. Let's hear from the quarterback who also spoke today. And I haven't seen this yet. I've only read it. I haven't heard it. Uh, I'm just wondering if uh, Foles is also a close talker to the screen as well in the Zoom. He's a, are you a close talker on the screen in the Zoom? Do you get close? Do you no, get in there? No, no, no. I, I, I'm, sometimes you get in there. Why. I don't know. Sometimes I get in there. And just you get think, in there? I don't know. Oh. Here's Foles. First thing I did was go straight to his office because um, I think it's important. Uh, you all hear me talk about conversations and relationships, and um, even though uh, that – that wasn't true what Brian said. It was important for Matt, Coach Nagy, and I to speak about what was said um, for our relationship. It doesn't matter if you're in marriage or what. If you keep something, you know, away from your wife and you don't ever talk about it, if you're married, you know, it, it turns into something that it shouldn't be. Um, so uh, that wisdom right there made me realize, hey, I'm going to go talk to Coach Nagy. I've had, I have a great relationship with him. We had a really good conversation. And um, you know, that that's what's important is having that, those relationships uh, with your coaches to where you can actually go in there and talk and talk like men and put it all, all there, all out there on the table so you can just move forward in the appropriate way. So it was really good. And, um, you know, I'm glad we talked. OK, so two things leap to mind. One first thing is, Mike, if you only had that approach, <laughs> maybe your Emmy wouldn't be in total complete pieces. Great and Your point. ex-wife wouldn't have thrown Great. the Emmy at you. Great point. OK, great point. Great point. Two, that's a lot of talk right there. There's a lot of chatter. There's a lot of we're good. That's a lot of we've talked it out and we're we're good. Which leads you to believe no, that. No, which leads me to believe that 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 what he told Greasy wasn't mangled or garbled, but truly what was going on. And Foles went to the coach and said, Hey, you know, I didn't mean for it to get out or or whatever. This is my interpretation of it. And he told the coach, like, uh, you know, hey, let's talk it out that there are some times where he's calling plays and Foles knows it can't work. So let's get on the same page. And they got it out there. And in a marriage, it's always healthy, whether you're attached to the hip with a coach or with the, the, the love of your life that you got to talk things out. And uh, we're talking about it. We're talking here. And the coach is talking too close to the camera on the zoom and the zoom zooming in and we're talking, (laughs) but eventually you got to play. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And you got to get first downs. You got to put points on the board because your defense is probably sitting there going, hey, offense, it's time because we're balling out here. But, hey, that's when the offense and the defense has to have a conversation because you don't want anything to fester. And then there's a lot of conversation. Make sure the offense and the defense talks it out because in any relationship, it's healthy to talk it out. So you got to talk it out between the offense and the defense because the coach and the quarterback have already talked it out and they're all cool. <laughs> so much talking until it's time to play <laughs> so much talking. and if you play well less to talk about <sighs> that's my two cents that's my take on today everything's fine everything's cool we talked it out we hashed it out we've hashed it out to the point where it's better now 
between us <laughs> and the talking makes it better for the for the for the conversing as a relationship when it comes to talking and then playing and we execute and we're all good <laughs> until it's time to play football against let me look it up oh yes that's the uh the uh, the uh, new orleans saints <laughs> coming to town Assumedly with uh, Michael Thomas back yeah, healthy. We're assuming that's yeah. going to happen. And then they'll be talking about that. We'll talk about how we can handle that. <laughs> that as a, a team, as a team. That is a sneaky good game this weekend. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's on. Five and two, four and two. Well, it's again, Don Bowie says it's sneaky. It's sneaky because, it's sneaky because it's the sne- Bears, nobody thinks they're good. As Kyle Branch said perfectly. They're a five and two team that acts like they're two and five, which is what I said when they came out of the press conference on Monday night and said from Nick Foles said, there's still a lot of time left in the season. It's just like, okay, yeah, for five and two, there's yeah, we understand. But why do you need to say that unless you feel like you're two and five?